Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Zoran. <laughs> welcome back to Zoran and Cast. I am, of course, Zoran, and I have uh, taken a little break over the weekend. I went to a Nebraska Cornhuskers football game for any of you out of the country that is American football, not the sport of European football or soccer, as we call it here. And uh, I also had to work on Sunday, so I had to take a little break, uh, but we should be back to full scheduled videos for the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and check out today's combatants here on Ohana, as I actually take the nameplate away that was already up. Uh, in the bottom right corner, we are going to have Soju Protoss. Soju? I'm going to call him Soju. And in the top left corner, the Red Terran Exekill. I believe it's Exekill. Exekill? Ikill? Ah, whatever, it's going to be Soju versus Ikill, because those are two fun names, and uh, both are a little confusing. I'm probably misspelling them, or missaying them both. Anyways, I believe this is Diamond. I am actually going to double check to see if I have the information on that. Uh, in the meantime, nothing terribly exciting going on in gameplay so far. Um, as I scroll away here. Uh, Soju did indeed send up his scout probe, checking a few things out, trying to scout out the normal the normal business. Uh, he's going to go into a war here with the SCV, but uh, he did seem to have the disadvantage just slightly. Uh, the SCV obviously had punched him a few times. Uh, but, of course, since he's a probe, he can run around a little bit regen those shields and indeed end up going back into combat and potentially winning if he chooses to do so. Uh, but it looks like he's gonna actually run on home. Let's go down here and check out Soju. For the moment uh, it looks like he is grabbing his cybernetics core as well as he has a single gateway so far. Uh, no expansion out of him yet. However he has grabbed a gas already as has Exekill who of course is now grabbing an orbital as well. The interesting thing here is both players have opted to skip out on fast expansions, so we definitely are going to see a quicker game, or at least we should expect a quicker game. It doesn't always happen that way, does it? So I'll keep an eye on that and see how it goes down. All right, I believe Exekill is diamond here and soju is a masters so it's somewhere in that area of play so we'll just pretend that that's um well frankly as far as i'm concerned when i categorize a game if any player is of a higher league that's the game i categorize it as so as far as i'm concerned this is a masters league game so i will call it as such so let's see how exit kill can do against the Master Soju Protoss. And we do have a Zealot now chasing down Exekill's uh, SCV here, obviously with the Stalker coming in. That SCV is yesterday's business. His little corpse kind of sparking and sputtering there. Sad to see uh, the probe up here sitting on the Zelnaga Watchtower doing his thing for the moment. Sorry about that scroll really quick. I needed to close something off the screen. But that won't happen again. Back to back to full attention to the game here. So Yeah, here comes a stalker from Soju Protoss. He doesn't want to send this in just yet. If he's too if he's uncareful with that, uh, he'll lose it. Uncareful. If he's careless with that, he will lose it. Uh, looks like Exekill has opted for a double gas 111. He is now gonna take that down onto the tech lab there and what is he going to start producing i would expect a banshee out of this question is is he going to get cloak he is indeed getting cloak so we're having a quick banshee cloaking banshee attack run by soju or excuse me by exekill and he's going to need to try and get it down here before this robotics facility is finished and the obs gets out because obviously that is the gateway for the power of that cloaking Banshee, so he's going to be cutting it close. He is really probably going to be able to do a little damage, but not much. It's really going to depend on Soju and if he pumps out knobs right away or grabs that quick immortal. So 
let's keep an eye on that. Uh, obviously, that is going to be a key point to this game and just determine how it really flows out. Uh, if he goes for that Immortal, unfortunately, it may cause some issues. He is indeed grabbing the OBS right away. So now the question becomes, does he send the OBS up to exit kill's base? Obviously, he'll find the starport at that point, but will he be able to retrieve it in time to detect where the Banshee is? So the OBS has gone out, and it is indeed heading north. Will it get very far before exit kill engages? His cloaking has just finished. However, he only has 75 energy at the moment. So is he going to wait? No, he does not. He has sent that in. Let's keep an eye on the OBS there. It is at the first Zelnaga Watchtower. Cloak has gone down. The OBS has just turned around. It is now heading back here as exit kill is starting to rack up some probe kills. Obviously, Second Observer is now out, and those Stalkers are going to treat that Banshee poorly. And, oh, so close to getting sniped off. I think he escapes. Yes, he does, with 10 freaking hit points. I think that was a Second Observer. Yes, it was. And he's actually now producing a Third Observer. So, Exit Kill has forced Soju to be very worried about this Banshee harass, and is now mass-producing Observers. Or at least as much as you can call mass producing or producing three observers. But uh, that's definitely an investment that he was probably not planning on making. And has been forced to do such. And uh, we uh, check up here. Exit Kill has a banshee, or a raven rather, sitting around with a group of marines. And a raven marine army, while not necessarily conventional, I really like it. The raven is a very versatile unit and could do a lot of stuff, especially since it's the energy base. You know, you get your free turrets, uh, your point defense drone. Is that what it's called? Point defense drone? Yes, I am correct. As well as, obviously, the seeker missile, which he'll have to research if he wants that. And we do see four or three more starports going down, making a total of four starports. And if Soju does not detect this or react to this fairly quickly, it's going to cause his him some issues. And he obviously doesn't even see a single starport yet. Um, he obviously knows there is one because a Banshee was hitting him up, but... You know, is he going to react to this? Now, this probe almost runs into this detector and gets sniped off by the Marines, but he did just barely react to that and pull back. So, for now, that probe is going to live another day. Unfortunately, though, it's not going to be able to detect the quad starport that's going on. We're going to have some serious Banshee play coming out, I think. It's looking like he wants to mass produce Banshees. Uh, it does have some Vikings coming out. Uh, he put a reactor down there so he can get plenty of Vikings if Soju gets Colossus or if he himself goes for Stargates to get Phoenixes or something. For the moment, though, we just see gateways going down. Uh, there is actually a Stargate over there. So, curious play by Exekill. I don't know if he's practicing an Air Force strategy or if he just has an Air Force strategy that works. Uh, obviously, it does seem to be some sort of Air Force strategy with a nice splattering of marines mixed in, which is always a good choice. Marines are always a good unit, especially if you get their stim and shield upgrades. They become a ridiculous endgame unit, considering their cost overall. However, Soju does have a decent force here, a nice mix of basic gateway units along with a couple of immortals. However, I would like to see a few more immortals or maybe some colossi thrown into that. Unfortunately, he's been running on a single robotics facility the entire time and uh, has not grabbed the necessary structure for getting that Colossi, the robotics obey, as it were. Uh, we do indeed have a Stargate on the field now. And oh, we're totally, I totally missed an attack. I'm actually going to uh, snipe it back a bit because I want to check that out. Just about 10 seconds back, so not bad. Here comes Soju running up here. A nice spread of the Marines, not really needed, but it's definitely going to help with the concave. And plenty of cloaked Banshees. The Pro got sniped off. The shields are down, and the Marine or the Zealots run up there easily liquefied. A few force fields kind of forcing the Marines into combat, although I don't think they were planning to uh, run away or anything. And uh, Soju here is forced to retreat. Starting to have some issues. Uh, he's got a Phoenix in there, but that's not really going to be able to do anything either. And these Immortals are suddenly in serious trouble. They're going to get sniped off. He should have been running them home in an attempt to save them. Unfortunately, he does not have any of that in mind. And uh, that proxy part one is going to go down easily as well. 
So, pretty much getting a free snipe there. Exekill just blows that army into the water. And uh, that is just a failed attack by Soju. I'm not really sure if he hadn't scouted out, if he was overconfident in what he thought he had. But that army just got walloped in the face. And now, Soju's pretty much just sitting on Zealots back here in his main base. He's not going to be able to hold this off. And this is going to get very dirty very quick for him. It's going to be a very hard time to try and hold this off. Obviously, he has his warps in, uh, so that is going to help. But can he hold it in time? And here come the Zealots rushing in there. No Zealot charge. That definitely is hurting him. Uh, the Phoenix goes super easy. And there's pretty much nothing left for the Zealots to attack. They're on the run. The Stalkers are gone. A couple Marines back here. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, but they're not dying for now. That's a definite key. And uh, looks like Exekill's just going to kind of snipe everything off with his Banshee squad at this time. And Soju's just going to have to retreat to his main. Hope he can live and just try to figure out the next plan. Uh, here he goes in, though. And, I mean, again, it's not really a combined attack of forces needed to take out Exekill. And Exekill's going to easily wallop him in the face. And Soju getting pissed about it, doing a little bit of nerd rage. And uh, I think he, uh, Exekill just caught him off at, off guard by going Air Force. So, well played by Exekill, just doing a nice uh, build that Soju just could not account for because he's not used to facing it. So, congrats to Exekill. Uh, he is indeed the guy that sent in the replay. I want to thank him for sending that in. And if you guys want your own replays casted, here on Zoranucast, you can send those in to Zoranin at gmail.com. That, of course, is listed in the information below. So check that out, send those in, and I might just cast your game for you. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please do thumbs up and subscribe if you liked this video, and I will catch all of you on the other side.